in the name of God. Hello everybody, you are watching Binary Option Smart YouTube channel. This is how to create DerivBot episode 2. As I promise you, I wanna teach you how to edit quick strategy DerivBot. Let's go. I make a Martingale bot with quick strategy. For example, 25 index, mm, minutes, 2 minutes, initial stake 1, stop loss 10, size of multiple 2, and take profit 10. As you know, we have to choose this button. So, our dev bot is ready. Before I teach you how to edit this bot, you have to know about these blocks. There are four blocks in Driv and binary bot that named the first one trade parameters, the second one purchase conditions, third one is sell. Uh, we don't have here I will teach you in a few next sessions the block number three that is named selling trade the fourth block is restart trading conditions these three blocks are most important things in drive bots so from the first one as you, the name says us trade parameters we can here choose our market for example derived forex stock indices and commodities and here we can use any type of markets and here we can change it for example volatility I changed the volatility index the second one trade type you can choose anything that you want for example up down and I change to digits when you change it this is changed and you can change it for example digits types and even and odds. contract type you can even odd or both or if it's up and down you can choose rise or fall or both that if you choose for example rise the bot only open the rise trade candle interval I will teach you a few sessions next and these two conditions always be this is unchecked and this is checked Please don't change these two parameters. Around once at the start, I will teach you next sessions and the trade options. Because we choose quick strategy, this is filled with the um, things that we choose here. For example, we choose minute two here will be minutes two minutes two you can change it by yourself for example hours days minutes ticks and seconds i change it to seconds 15 seconds the minimum one you cannot change the stake because you choose here in quick strategy let me go to the purchase condition as you see here, Derive choose automatically purchase only rise. If you change it, you can easily click on it and change it fall. Let me reduce, decrease this, run it. You will see only purchase fall. 
as you see here again a fall again I stop it I change it twice run again as you see the bot open rise trades there is no difference you can't as I said to you change trade type for example digit even and odd you can choose it even if it's even and run it you will see only even trades opens and you change odd only odd trades open so now we want to change it that the bot opens two types of trading for example in even out uh, the bot open event in some conditions and open odds in some conditions you have to learn use if elements if you will see here we have some elements here you have to use the most important elements is from logic this is conditional block I add it here I take it off here let me insert an in and insert in block number two purchase conditions if blah 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 then purchase odd for example if last digits it's odd we want to say to the bot when last digits was odd purchase odd here in analyze mistake oh sorry in tick and candle analyze if last digit last digit so you can't hear insert it here why because we need conditions back to the utility logic we need compare we add compare here last digit equal to equal to what equal for example equal in math equal to even last digit as you can see here I want to say last digit is even but I can't compare these two because this block has the compare I can choose it's very easy last digit is even purchase odd or is odd you can purchase odd I stay it here I hold it here I will teach you when this use in this block hold it here last digit is odd purchase odd I add it else else means last digit isn't odd or last digit is even duplicate it if last digit was even purchase even let's see how it's possible 
Let's start. Chart. This is last digit. If this is what's odd, the digit, the trade is odd. If this digit is even, the trade open even condition. As you see here. So, from here you, s you learn how to use condition in purchase condition. But if we want trade on up and down and rise and fall, for example, if last price or market is direction is rise. Let me if direction is rise means this is the rise direction this is the fall directions from two last ticks from last ticks if it's rise we say direction is rise if it's fall we say direction is fall so if direction is rise, purchase rise, else purchase fall. Let me test it. Make sure you are in demo account. Run. Direction is fall. Direction, uh, the two ticks after the trade open. Boom. Direction is rise and trade rise direction is fall trade fall direction is fall direction is rise and rise opens direction rise trade rise direction fall trade fall so as you see our bot working well so back to the digits trade here and for example over and out or let me choose even an odd that you learned before for example your strategy is when last digits is to purchase even I use this plug as you see here let me show you again here logic you can find this compare black when last digit for example equal to I use block number equal to two last digit will be an else or you can use upper down or lower down two or three or five or everything you want as you see the last digit equal to two purchase even else you can purchase art let me test it I run it open chart When last digit isn't two, 
the bot open even trade if it's equal to two as you see here if equals to two even if isn't equal to two open odd odd rates is more than even rates because two is very rare or let me change it upper than five purchase even lower than five purchase out open chart last digit is it under five out trade open under five out upper than five even as you see here I stop so you can use these conditions and use these blocks and elements to uh, manage and edit your quick strategy bots let me talk about this when we use quick strategy drive doesn't allow us to change this because it's use functions and functions are here if you edit the functions if you want to edit this it's very complicated in next sessions I will teach you how to make or build a derive bot by yourself and with don't use these functions and use directly if you have any questions from this edit or more edit than it please ask me on comments as you know this is our youtube channel binary option is smart please subscribe and like our videos if you have any question you can ask in comments so you can change your type of quick strategy for example the app bert let me see you and let me show to you here as you know we can hear it's saying we can change this this and this there is no difference between type of quick 